What is going on everybody, Yvonne here, and today we're gonna compare two really powerful marketing solutions, High Level and Kajabi. Now, both of them can be used for a very wide array of things, ranging from a CRM to a marketing solution to even hosting your guys' courses and website. However, if we look a little closer, we can actually see little differences among the two different platforms here, and those differences can have huge impacts. Now, when I say differences, it doesn't mean it's gonna be a bad or a good thing, but it's gonna be really dependent on which situation you're in and what exactly you're looking for because what can work for one business may not work for another. And that's why we're gonna go over different examples, see exactly how to use the platforms and see exactly which one is gonna be right for you. So let's dive in. Now, if you guys do wanna get started with the platforms, check out the link down below where you can actually have a free trial of the platform. So you can check out all of its features without any risk. Now, all we gotta do to get started is go ahead and enter your guys' email, press continue. And here as well, just put basic information about your guys' self, like your guys' password, email address, and your guys' first and last name. And once we put our password Passwords in, we can go ahead and actually start the free trial. Boom, and I just gotta check my email for verification. And we gotta answer some basic questions here. And what these questions are gonna allow us to do is it's gonna allow Kajabi to pretty much help you guys get started on the platform and integrate a lot of the features that you're already using. So again, for example purposes, I'm just gonna put random answers here. But again, I would be truthful here as it does help Kajabi improve as a platform and it helps them personalize to your guys' experience. Boom, and once we've answered those questions, you guys are ready to go. That was Kajabi. Now I'm gonna do high level. Now on the flip side of things, if you guys do want to try out high level again same as before the link is down in the description where you guys can have a 14 day free trial at no risk to you guys so all we got to do to get started is just press the 14 day free trial here again because i already have my account i'm just going to use a temporary email right over here boom select the plan that you guys want to have and boom you guys are in now if you're looking to get a little further help right with your setup like you haven't had too much exposure to marketing tools then you can actually opt in for help with your guys' setup but again if you feel like you're confident right you've watched a bunch of videos you don't need to do that so just scroll down right over here and bring it to your guys' application. Awesome. Now click here to get started and it should bring it into your guys' portal. And similar to Kajabi, before you guys get started, it's going to ask you some basic questions. So fill it out. Again, for example purposes, I'm just going to put random answers here, but it does help high level improve as a platform and actually integrate with a lot of processes that you guys are using already. And that's what I mean. As you guys can see right over here, there's different tools already embedded into here, like ClickFunnels, MailChimp, or Calendly that a lot of people already use a lot of times. So just go ahead and select those and you're guys integration is going to be a lot easier and once you guys go through the verification process you should be good to go so both the signups are now covered now as we're comparing the two platforms let's first go into the pricing section of things and the reason why we're going to do that is because we're actually going to see all the features that we get if we actually sign up for the platform so starting with kajabi and a lot of times why people actually use the platform is usually to sell some type of course so as we see right over here there are actually four different plans that are available for us and they're going to be very similar however they're just going to have varying amounts of the actual product within it and here's what i mean by it so in the kickstarter version right over here we can actually see that we have the one funnel but in the basic version there are going to be three funnels included and as you guys go up the plans here you're going to have a lot of the same features but in just larger amounts so the nice part about it as your business grows you guys can actually grow with kajabi you can just spend more as you guys make more and there's a bunch of different features right like listing you guys product different funnels contacts having different crm landing pages marketing emails all the sorts of things like legit to get people excited about you guys as website to get them on the website to host a podcast on the website you can do all within kajabi and it makes it super simple right to even have the entire course you can have it all on kajabi and that's why it's such a good solution because everything is in one place and here's a little bit how it looks like so let me show you how it works so right over here right in the front we have the dashboard so you can have everything available here and you can modify it to however you guys like it but let's say i'm a creator right i have a course of some sort i can just go to products and list it on here and as you guys see kajabi is there for a very specific reason a lot of times it's to sell courses and it does so really well. So pretty much everything, courses, coaching, community, podcasts, and newsletters, it can be all made within Kajabi. And it's really nice because you can have everything centralized in one place, making it super simple to have your business all in the centralized platform. And for all of you guys' sales, so let's say if a deal comes in, you can actually collect it within Kajabi as you can just tie in different credit card processors and different offers, coupons. You can have it here as well. So you can modify it depending on the season. The part where it gets really fun is going to be the design of the website landing pages aspect of things. So let's dive into that. So with the website or landing pages, pretty much anything that's part of the funnel that's going to allow users to engage with you guys' website, they're very similar on all the platforms. So right over here, if you are a beginner, I suggest picking a template here and boom, just stick with one of the templates. It's going to make your job a lot easier. And Kajabi does a really good job with being really user friendly. So you don't need to have any technical knowledge to be good with the platform. And here's what I mean by this. If you want to go ahead and change the text, all you got to do is just modify 
modified right over here and it should change there for you right you can also change the width of the text how it looks like text size all those things but again as you guys are scrolling through your guys's website you can actually see specific sections and different assets within it you can easily modify them within those so here's what i mean so as you guys see right over here i can just highlight a section and we can actually see that there's an image here piece of text and you can easily add context and it's not rocket science really straightforward as you can do it all by yourself and the cool part about it is that it actually also works really well with the mobile version so as you guys are adjusting your platform because a lot of users can use the mobile aspect of things it's going to be really nice specifically for the kajabi mobile app but again for landing pages blogs across the two different platforms with high level and kajabi it looks very simple and for both of them it's going to be really easy to use now you may be asking yourself yvonne like these platforms look very similar right like if i just look at the features and i feature match it's pretty much the exact same thing but one thing that kajabi does really differently is going to be its mobile app now with the mobile app the reason why it's going to be really useful for you guys is if you're selling courses or coaching of some sort a lot of you guys' users are going to be interacting with it on mobile now kajabi definitely takes the lead here and it does it really well because a lot of these things can be really customized and it's not only for courses as there's also the community aspect of things where you can actually interact with different similar like members and something that kajabi does really well is that it has an interactive community portion of it that pretty much uses ai to analyze some of the conversations above comments and from there what it does is based on that context it's able to input something in the chat to keep the conversation going so if you do have a lot of users that are utilizing the mobile version this is going to be a no-brainer and again for marketing there are email campaigns funnels automations and pretty much what allows you to do is see open rates click rates all those sort of things however when it comes to automations where kajabi comes a little short is that it's not going to have as many options as high level because it's going to be really course dependent and what i mean when i say course dependent is like for example if an assessment had been completed or if there's a tag added or an email has been sent out then it can automatically do something but not much on top of that but again all of you guys has contacts deals funnels can all be in one place which is really nice if you're running a coaching business and if you want to see how it's doing all you got to do is just press the analytics tab right over here and see exactly how much revenue you got subscription metrics all those things and something that kajabi has approved a ton on is going to be its marketing studio now with the creator studio option right over here you can pretty much utilize any of your guys's clips keep them inside of kajabi and actually use it to promote you guys's course this is going to be a game changer when it comes to growing your audience because usually that's how you get leads through social media and having it all in one place is going to be really convenient and again hypothetically if you don't have a course just yet it's going to be really simple to make it as all you got to do is just go to courses press get started and and then boom, from here, you can easily make it. And it's going to be really, really fast. Now let's chat a little bit of how high level is different. And look, I'm going to be honest with you. The biggest difference is going to be the use case of why you're actually using the platform. Kajabi is really fire when it comes to anything course related. Like heck, it even has a podcast app on it. High level, on the other hand, is going to be a little broader when it comes to the marketing usage. And what I mean by this is that you don't necessarily need to sell a course to use high level as it's good for many different business models. And the best part about it is you can literally use it for any business. All the way from a dental office that's trying to get more leads through the door to a coaching business you can have everything all in one platform and as you guys see with the starter version you're practically getting all the features already so that's a pretty big difference already because with kajabi right like you're getting one funnel five funnels and so on but with high level you can have a limited amount of things all within the starter platform the biggest difference i'd say regarding the high level plans is going to be how many sub accounts we can have so pretty much what i mean by that if you're an agency and you have more than three clients that you're actively managing their business operations marketing business development all those things you probably need to opt in for the unlimited plan here because you can have unlimited sub accounts and you can even have api access that can integrate all the different things together however if you are a smaller agency and you have fewer than three clients the starter version is just going to do fine and if you want to crank out the biggest notch out there then the SaaS pro is going to be your best friend now let's see how it works now a lot of the features that we already covered in kajabi are going to be similar or high level the biggest difference though is that high level is a little fuller when it comes to business functionality and what i mean by that is again all you guys's communication social media leads crm analytics can all be in one place but at the same time can be automated to a really high degree so in the launch pad right over here you can connect everything that we talked about now if you guys want to see exactly how your business is doing all you got to do is similar to kajabi just go to the dashboard and all your guys's opportunities deals revenue conversion rates analytics are all going to be in there now again with different ways of communicating like facebook messenger or text texting or DMs, you can have them all tied in one place with conversations right over here. And that way, you know that nothing is slipping through the cracks. And the calendar feature at high level is going to be a little bit more advanced compared to Kajabi because it's going to be 
be used for those folks that have bigger small businesses. So for example, let's say you have a sales rep, right? And they need a set of meeting. It's going to be a lot easier in high level compared to Kajabi because in high level it's going to function a lot like Calendly where you can actually integrate with your guys' Google accounts. So it's going to be a really easy transition. And again, all of your guys' contact records and opportunities. So right. So in other words, CRM is going to be all in here. It's going to be really straightforward where you guys can actually see you guys' entire funnels, what's making you money, what's not. So you have it all within one centralized place. The biggest difference I'd say when it comes to high level are going to be its automation capabilities. A lot of it is going to be with AI or workflows. And pretty much what that's going to allow you to do is based on branch logic, compare it and make certain triggers that whenever something happens, high level actually sends something out, whether it be a text or replies to a comment. And that's going to be really useful, especially as you guys are scaling. So here, let me show you an example. If I go ahead and click on workflow, select the recipe right over here. And like, for example, let's say someone gave you guys a call on WhatsApp and you need to give them a call back. So let's go ahead and select that one. And boom, as we see, the trigger here was someone actually giving you guys a call. And let's say there's a slight delay. So it doesn't sound like a bot that can actually assign a user, assign it to WhatsApp here. And from there, again, different conditions are going to do different things. So if the WhatsApp was sent, there's going to be internal notification here. But again, if it failed, there's going to be an SMS led by an internal notification. And if it was unsuccessful, same thing. But again, the best part about it is with this branching logic, you can pretty much customize it to the exact your liking. And it does a way better job than Kajabi in this aspect of things. And look, I got to tell you, as you guys are scaling, getting more folks under your wing, because again, a lot of times high level is used by digital marketing agencies who have a ton of clients who have a lot of the similar requests, automations and workflows are going to be a game changer for you to save you a lot of your guys' time. And as we check out the marketing aspect of things, it's very similar as you can go ahead and collect all your guys' social media platforms all in one right over here. And again, you can go ahead and have a social media scheduler, which is actually unique to high level, which is going to be really nice as you're publishing a lot of content. The place where high level really shines is if we click on the side aspect right over here, again, pretty much all the different features and layouts are going to be listed right over here. We can create them all internally. So with things like funnels, websites, stores, blogs, WordPress, forms, surveys, boom, you can have them all in one place. And it's not limited to courses, podcasts, or that sort of thing. But as you guys can see, high level does have a little bit of a more of a broader option instead of a more niche focus on courses and coaches like Kajabi has. So a lot of it just depends on what you guys are looking for. There's similar functionality when it comes to reporting and seeing exactly what's working and what's not. But I think the place where high level really shines is going to be its white label option. So something important to mention, if we go back to the pricing page, we see that with the unlimited plan and the SaaS Pro plan, the white labeling becomes a possibility. And pretty much what that allows us to do is we can actually put our own sticker on it, right? So we can white label it and actually sell it to our clients later on. Because with Kajabi, it's going to be a lot different. So for example, let's say we're using Kajabi for a client, they would need to make an account for us and make us a super admin on there. But with high level, we can actually sell the platform directly to the customer and access it from there through the sub accounts. And that's going to be really useful for us and allow us to make passive income. And look, if you're an agency, this is going to be your bread and butter because you can actually enroll all of your clients within one platform. You can actually modify and edit all their marketing stuff all within one place. And here's how it looks like because within high level, there's going to be both the individual sub account view and there's going to be the agency view. So this whole time we've been on the sub account view, but if we go ahead and go to the agency view, it's going to be really different. With the agency view, you can see account snapshots, see exactly how they're doing prospecting for your own agency business, your agency dashboard, all the sort of things. So there you guys have it. That was an overview over the two really powerful marketing platforms, Kajabi and High Level. So as you guys saw, they're used for completely two different things. Kajabi specializes in courses and coaching, but High Level is a bit of a broader perspective on the marketing aspect of things. Both those platforms are amazing when it comes to marketing different automations. So I would for sure check them out. And if you do decide to use one of the platforms, please check out the links down below as it tremendously helps the channel at no extra cost to you. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. So please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time. Peace.